Welcome to Patricia Egan Consulting's demonstration of our Sales Automation Manager tool called SAM. SAM works with ACT, the Contact Manager, and is designed to provide automated workflow. Its goal is to automate anything that can possibly be done so that the salesperson and ACT user is more efficient. You can see an example of some of the things it can do. Look at fields and make decisions based on the data that's in those fields. It can schedule calls, meetings, or to-dos. It can merge and send emails and letters. It can even assign different record managers based on criteria that you define, and much, much more. This is a sample of, of, a, of a day in a, a typical workflow. I've got emails that are going out, I've got phone calls that need to be made, meetings that need to be held, follow up with people, I've got data that I've got to add into ACT or go interrogate inside of ACT, and I can have calendars of things that I'm waiting for. For example, renewal notices that need to be sent out on an annual quarterly basis. Sam can do all of that. This is a graphic designing uh, a workflow. ACT is, um, is, has got all kinds of actions inside of it that can be done, and SAM uses a workflow engine, and all you have to do is design a flowchart. Uh, it seems a little bit complicated, but it's actually once you develop a couple of them, it becomes very, very simple. We provide samples with SAM as well, and I'm going to actually tape you right over to SAM right now and show you an example of one here. I'm going to increase the, the font size a little bit for you. And basically what this one is designed to do is that when someone gets assigned into a campaign, that's what we call it inside of SAM, a series of steps and actions will happen. This looks like there's a lot going on, but it's really quite simple. Basically people are going to be scheduled, an email is going to be sent out, a, ne a meeting is going to be scheduled, the salesperson is to return the phone call, and then update a field in ACT. I'll show you that field right here. They're going to be updating this prospect status. So what's happening with this SAM flowchart here is it's basically saying, what is that field saying? What do I do after what the salesperson has responded? So no reach, low interest, not interested, contact later, and needs a proposal are all the things that the salesperson will flag. And basically what you're seeing here is what do we want SAM to do when these actions happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here into ACT. I'm going to temporarily do this manually. I'm going to assign this gentleman here, Lance Parker, to uh, the start status. And SAM can be run overnight. I'm running it manually for you today, but it can be run overnight. It can be run on a, on a hourly basis. We have one client that runs it every five minutes. Um, I don't recommend that, but they they like it and it makes their process work. So I come over here and I'm going to say I want to select and run a campaign. And it's going out and opening up the database. It's going to ask me which campaign I can run because I can run more than one campaign against database. Oh, I can have multiple databases as well. So I'm going to run this select a campaign. It's opening up the database. It's looking for all of the people that are out there. I happen to have several people in my database, but the one we care about here is Lance Parker. So Lance Parker is now, he has started the email process. In fact, I'll bet you if I come over here to correspondence, um, actually the email's already gone out. Uh, it would be sitting here waiting um, if I had chosen to hold it, but it's um, actually already gone out. And if I come back over here to act, and if I do a view refresh, um, I can see now that he's at a triage state. We'll talk about that in a minute. I told my campaign to set this to hot lead. There it is. I've got a history here that an email was sent. Thank you for your interest in our products. I've also got an activity that has been scheduled here for the first phone call. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and say they need a proposal. And I'm going to close this activity. And I'm going to come up here to my prospect status and I'll say needs proposal. So the salesperson never sees Sam. The only person that sees Sam is your administrator. So basically I'm going to come back over here, pretend this is running at night or as we said, once an hour. It's going and opening up the database. I'm going to tell it which campaign I want to run. And then I can see here that Lance Parker has transitioned to send proposal and a schedule to do has been put into his appointment. If I come over here and again do a view refresh, 
I now have my send proposal statement here. I can also tell that um, over here under SAM, I'm now at the proposal wait stage. All of this is happening underneath the covers. Um, it's very efficient. It costs, um, it's based, this, the price of SAM is based on the number of users. You don't buy one per user, you just buy one per company. Um, it starts at $288. If you're interested in more information, you can visit our website at www.eganconsulting.com. You can search here under our automation tools and check more information regarding SAM. You can order it and see what the pricing is based on um, the number of users in your database. I hope you found this helpful. We look forward to hearing from you in the future. Thank you.